Now to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He signed a bill that defunds diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in state colleges and universities as he moves closer to running for the White House. Chief White House Washington correspondent John Carl has the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. In a clear sign that DeSantis is close to announcing that he is running for president, his team has told top donors and supporters to plan to be in Florida the middle of the next week with sources close to DeSantis saying a presidential announcement is likely before Memorial Day. This as DeSantis is using the power of his governorship to push hot button issues appealing to his party's conservative base. Surrounded by supporters, Ron DeSantis claimed a victory in the culture war, signing into law a bill that passed without a single Democratic vote to block Florida's public colleges from using government funding on programs supporting diversity, equity, and inclusion, sometimes referred to as DEI. A DEI is, is better um, viewed as standing for discrimination, exclusion, and indoctrination. And that has no place in our public institutions. Critics of the new law say DEI programs are essential to making campuses inclusive and accuse DeSantis of imposing his ideology on higher education. What they're doing is trying to suppress how students think and, and trying to tell professors and administrators how and what they should teach and muzzling them on what they can and they cannot say. DeSantis signed the bill at New College of Florida, a public university whose board DeSantis fired in order to install conservative leadership, prompting student protests, including outside his event on Monday. I saw some of the protesters out there. I was a little disappointed. I was hoping for more, um, but you know. <laughs> It's only the latest in a series of controversial moves by the Florida governor to appeal to potential Republican primary voters. He recently signed into law a ban on abortion after six weeks and a law expanding restrictions on teachers discussing sexual orientation gender and gender race. identity so through senior year so of high school. If DeSantis is hoping to win over Trump supporters, there is no evidence that it is working, at least not yet. In the latest ABC News poll, uh, George uh, DeSantis was trailing Trump by 26 points. Other polls show him trailing by an even greater number. George? Early day so far. John Carl, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.